Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, it's all about prepping is hard work. Prepping now for the future later in the summer when we can harvest all kinds of food. Well, everyone, it's time to plant some onions. I'll meet you out in the garden. It's real important in the springtime that you get planting when you can because you just never know. Today is the only day that is supposed to be nice and we're supposed to have rain all week. So whether you feel like it or not, you gotta get out there and you gotta plant. important to have a string line when you're planting anything. Your string will keep your line straight. That means it'll keep your rows straight as well. All right, I'm gonna be planting some potatoes and an onions. The potatoes we're gonna plant on the deck, but let's finish these onions. I would like to thank my special friend Becky for getting me these onions. They are the red and they also are the golden or the white onions. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant them. we got a 75 foot row planted. Now it's important to take the back of your hoe and push down on the row like this. You're gonna do that the whole way on your row. That will keep your soil in good contact with your onions or whatever you plant. That way if you get a heavy rain, it's not gonna wash your seeds away. So take the bottom of your hoe and you have to tap it. So you go through each one and you tap it down like this. It would be great at my greenhouse to have a water sink. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this. I actually use it as a planter, but I don't want it that anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this really good, and then we're going to put this where my greenhouse is and use this for whenever I want to work with plants and clean up. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scrub this up real good. Now I'm just gonna have fun in my greenhouse. So we're gonna take these down to the garden. I sure hope they soon sprout. We'll take them down to the garden. And I'm gonna organize my greenhouse. And I'm going to plant some seeds in here. I'm gonna work on that. I'm going to plant some mushrooms. We have lots of mushrooms to plant. Gotta work on that. and generally clean everything up. 
bought this container because I'm gonna be planting mushrooms. Now they have to be in a humid and very dark place. So I am gonna put them in my out pantry, but I'm gonna fill this up with soil and then put some cow manure on top. This was given to me by my friend who wanted me to learn how to grow mushrooms. So these are the little mushroom seeds that you wanna call them. I don't know the proper name for them, but I read online on how to plant them. So we'll see how it works. All right, we're supposed to put an X in here. And then put it in the water face down. And we're going to keep it in the water for eight to 10 hours, so overnight. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plant some seeds. And I'm sure you've seen that done a hundred times. So I'll just show you here a little bit what I'm planting. Now these are all gonna go in my greenhouse. I'm hoping that they'll be good enough out there. So we're planting all of those seeds. The parsley is getting planted outside along with the celery. And all of this is going to be planted. in my little individual containers. The spring rains and bunnies in the garden and the promise of summer is all so exciting. I can't wait to share with you so much more in my videos as the days and the weeks progress. And now I want to share with you a company that has been very generous to me through these last years and that is the boots that I like to wear in my garden. They are top of the line and they are product review but that company has really been so kind to me and I wanted to share that with you. Hi everybody, it's Homestead Tessie coming to you with another product review. This is my ultimate favorite work boots. These are muck boots or mud boots. These are waterproof, these are great. And this is in the camo. This is in the camo. And let me show you how they fit. I love these, they fit true to your foot size. So if you're size eight, it's an eight or nine. These are neat because these are the mid calf ones. And I love the camo look to it with my favorite colors, and that's brown and black. Let me fit them on and let me show you what they look like. They're so nice because they're waterproof. They have a really nice tread on them, and they're really handy for all types of weather in spring, summer, winter, and fall. One thing I like about them, they're easy to slip on and they're easy to slip off. Very stylish. and extremely warm and extremely comfortable.